All right, let's see if we can't do some live coding with Vertex Project. So I am in a playground directory in my temp directory, and I'm going to create a brand new Vertex Project using the Vertex Maven plugin. And the way I do this is using the Maven command, and we specify IO React verse colon Vertex Maven plugin. We skip the version by putting two colons and we say setup. And we'll be prompted to fill in some fields that we need to create a brand new Maven project. We're going to call this com red hat demo vertex demo and we'll set the version to 1.0.0 snapshot and we're going to use Vertex version 3.8.2 and we'll accept the default main vertical. At this point we can open the code up in our preferred development environment. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code uh, as it is most easily accessible to many many people. <coughs> and you'll see that we have a typical Maven project layout. We've got our source main Java directory, and underneath there we have combat hat demo package with a main vertical Java file. We have a Maven palm file. And so let's take a look at main vertical. A typical vertex vertical looks like this. It is a class that extends abstract vertical and abstract vertical basically sets up some pre-made uh, fields and methods that we can use inside of our verticals. A vertex vertical can be thought of as the smallest unit of deployment available inside of a vertex application. Verticals are by default guaranteed to be run single-threaded, so you don't have to worry about concurrency issues when you're running inside of a vertical uh, by default. You can override that with deployment configuration options, but we're not going to talk about that today. We'll talk about that in a later portion of this series. In this example today, we're going to create a very, very simple Hello World REST API. And to do that, because we're extending abstract vertical, we have an instance of the vertex context available inside the scope of this vertical. And from the vertex object, we can create an HTTP server. Now, if we wanted to, we could specify additional options. We'll talk about that at a later date. But for right now, we're just going to see create HTTP server, and we're going to set up a request handle. And that request handler is a callback function. That callback function is implemented typically using a Java 8 style Lambda. And so you'll see that we have a request object that's being passed in and handled by this Lambda. And all we really need to do to implement our basic HTTP server is say request.response and then end the end is where we put the body. So we can say hello vertex world. And as soon as we save that, we have implemented our basic HTTP server in a non blocking async methodology using vertex project. We can test this and run this using the vertex maven uh, plugin as well. So we can say maven clean compile vertex run. And you'll see it compile, you'll see the typical Maven messages, and after a few moments you'll see success succeeded in deploying vertical. At this point we can now switch over to our browser, and we can refresh the page. Ah, except we forgot something. When we create the HTTP server we have to tell it to listen on a port. And so we're going to say port 88. Now, actually, 8080 is the default. Uh, so we can technically leave this blank, but we definitely may need to call listen to actually build the HTTP server. You'll notice that when I added this and saved the file, Maven was watching that file 
and it caused it to automatically redeploy. So without even restarting the vertex run command, we can refresh this page and we see hello vertex world. That is a quick and dirty introduction to starting off with vertex project and I hope you join me for further videos in this series.